Design is one of the most important and underlooked things when it comes to building successful web applications. Not only, of course, should the functionality be good of whatever your web application does, but it's so important to design it clearly so users understand what it does and how to easily use whatever you build. It's so important. So in this video, I want to share with you four design resources I've collected along the years that really helped me design beautiful applications and I really hope they will for you too. First thing I want to talk about is made by Sebastian. It's a single dude and he's creating a service called ff fuel whatever you pronounce it right doesn't matter basically it's a completely free assortment of a lot of tools regarding svgs where you can have a color picker you can create svg blobs things like svg spinners abstract svg backgrounds you can click on each of these and each one has different options where you can create patterns for your website this looks very all right whatever this looks kind of trippy now the one tool i use the most here is the ll line that lets you draw certain shapes and then it creates you an SVG from that shape. For example, we can create a circle, adjust things like the thickness, the roundness and some other stuff. And if you know how to do this properly and play around with this a bit, this can look so nice on your website. For example, check this out. One website that does this extremely well is Josh Komo's course, where some SVGs are embedded here on the website in the background, like this line around the heart. And you can see that also further down on the website, like underlining important things in the text. This is exactly what you can do with the LL line. Let's clear this. You can draw the lines, then easily connect it. And just like that, export the SVG, embed it on your website, adjust the gradient if you want. I think this is super cool. And all of these are completely free. Next up is UI Labs. And this was just recently launched by a product designer at Vercel. And while this is unfortunately not a component library, I think the design choices here are super cool. These are certain widgets like the calendar widget and multiple below that where you can click on them and then you have micro interactions. And this is really useful to understand how clean animations are done. The flexible tags container dynamically expanding and shrinking the container as you manipulate tags. I wouldn't ship this in production because of the sudden change of position of the elements inside the component, but it was a fun exercise. And that's true, it is probably a bit distracting, but you can really get a feel of how good animations, how good interactions on your website, like on your portfolio, for example, should feel. This could be like images on a website when you hover over them, then they kind of pop. We have some sliders and a dynamic header dropdown. Next up is this one. Uh, it's super basic, right? It does one thing, it gives you color palettes. And if you're searching for specific colors, then most of these actually look great out of the box. I use them on my websites. I use them to make my thumbnails. I think this is a super cool resource for you to get access to really nice colors. Honestly, there's not much to say here. I use it a lot though. It can be really, really helpful. And then the last resource is also made by an ex Vercel design engineer. While I'm making this video, he already switched away from Vercel, but he used to work at Vercel and he does a lot of animation stuff on the web. And he is also the author of some of the really cool stuff in the React ecosystem, like the drawer, for example, or a popular toast notification library. You can see that here in the bottom. Kind of hard to see on the white background, but there are toast notifications here. To me, it seems like this guy really knows what he's talking about. As we kind of switch around on the dynamic island that he made, that feels like an Apple thing, right? But kind of remade in what I assume is Framer Motion and React or Next.js and of course also fully interactive. If you're building a music player, this could be super cool. If you're building a kind of Pomodoro timer, this could be super cool. How do you make your animations feel? I think this guy does a fantastic job at that. Same thing with something called origin aware animations. This is the unaware, right? Take a look at this unaware. It pops out in the center right here. If we compare this to the aware, it comes out of where the button actually is. And this is hardly noticeable, but users do notice. And this tiny detail of aware versus unaware animations can make your app feel so much smoother. Listen, man, all of these components feel super natural to interact with. You can slide them down. Everything behaves as you expect it to be. And I take a lot of inspirations from that for my own projects. And there are in-depth explanations on his website about the thought process behind all these animations or what the challenges are in building really natural interactions that your users will appreciate. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that these resources will help you in building beautiful web apps as much as they help me. And as I said, it's not only web apps. Design is so important for everything. When I do my thumbnails and so on, of course, design matters a lot, but at the same time, design should always follow functionality and it's never the primary reason that anything is used, but it's also the foundation for anything being used. If the design is clear, if users understand what your product does, 
that is one of the most important things. So anyways, I could ramble on about how important this is. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Four tools I showed you and I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, have a good one and bye bye.